Sports. What a thrill for me. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski. I cannot wait for this. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. It's been an awesome six weeks, and here we go. The moment of truth. Game one, Stanley Cup Finals. Let's go. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Takes the shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Moves it quickly over to Hayes. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Borchek. into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Oh, no! Luck as it goes off the outside of the post. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. There's a collision. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Quick feed to Burns. Oh, he comes up with a big stop there. Feeds it over to Konechny. All alone! Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop. Well, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, and this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. Tries to get the puck over to Vanek. The Flyers have it now. Take it along the wall by Prosser. Now a quick pass to Corbin. Minnesota's moving it along the wing. The Wild have gained possession. The Flyers gain control of the puck against the wall. Carries it across the line. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. The Wild have been handed a two-minute penalty for charging. here in their own end. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Picked up along the wall by Gostas Bear. Quick pass to Atkinson. Scores! Oh, wow! My goodness, what a finish! When that puck's on his stick, James, you know that he's a magician and he can deep his way to the net like he does just there. I just love watching the puck on his stick, James. It's like it's on his string. He just knows exactly where he's going to move his opponent to and then he finds his way to the net. The Flyers land the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Well, yeah, I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. Scooped up along the wall by Therapy. Gains the zone through center. Great hook check on the reach. Looking to set up offensively. Quick shot! Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow! And that goes off a player in front. Here's a short pass to Faraby. Moves it around along the half wall. Turned aside by Dubnik. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Atkinson's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. 
They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Minnesota's looking to break out. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Strong defensive effort. Scrum ensues along the boards. Moves it to Scandella. On the one-timer! Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Snaps it on net! Stopped by the goaltender. By slashing the leather on this save, the shooter's in a grade-A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. And some textbook body contact there. Reads inside the slap shot. Wow. Grabbed along the board by Borchek. You know I stepped on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Oh, it's denied by Dubnik. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Minnesota's got the win off that draw. Picked up along the boards by Scandella. Moves it quickly over to Granlin. Minnesota's on the attack. Huge steal in his own end. The Flyers are doing a great job of anticipating the play, and that's why the puck is on their stick. They're intercepting pucks all game long. They've got to make good on them. They've got to transfer it, head north, and start cashing in. And that's broken up by Hag. And they'll just dump it in and go for a line change. Heatley's got the puck through the neutral zone. Moves it to the middle. Sometimes when it looks effortless, it's actually a lot harder than it seems. I mean, this is quite a play to be able to make that move and then slide that puck over to his teammate who executes and finishes it off perfectly. Minnesota's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Cuffs up the puck after that hit. Forces the turnover. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Hart's gonna hang on for a whistle. More than half the period has expired. We are all tied up in this one. Okay, Kubel's won it off the faceoff. Van Riemsdyk swooping in on the attack. Chance in front. Can't connect the play. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Now he takes it over the line. The Flyers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Ope Kubel got it along the wing. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Quick feed to Atkinson. Zips it on net, and now it's grabbed by Parisi. Hollandville's gained the line and on the attack. Quick pass to Parisi. Comes up with the block. Absolutely fearless. Here, oh, he's so good. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that block. It's some gymnastics at its finest. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Here in the later stages of this period, it's all tied up. And they win the draw in the offensive zone and they go to the race. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. The Flyers take possession off the faceoff. Good fight for the puck along the boards. 
And he takes the feed. Gaining momentum along the wing. Puck grab by Cullen. Scandella's got it behind his own net. And now he tries to get it across to Gabbery. Here's a chance! And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Let's it go! Off a stick. Tosses it to Niederreiter. Farabee's really impressed me with that last play, James. I mean, to have the wherewithal to hold on to that puck. I mean, that's tenacity on your way down, fall into the ice and still get the shot off. That's leadership at its best. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. Second period set to get underway. A tightly contested 20 minutes to start. Let's see if this continues here in the second. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Flyers are lucky that this game is tied, James. I mean, they've had the minority of the shots. They really haven't found a way to get to the interior of the ice. They're going to have to pay the price somewhere if they want to get some shots and make this game a game. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And let's see what the call is. Four checks getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Minnesota's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. The Flyers start with the puck in the road end. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Quick feed to Pottenville. Here's a shot. Oh, puts it wide. And oh, no, he'll want that one back. Well, you can see the frustration right there. I think there was a sense of urgency, but he had more time than he thought. They move the puck out of harm's way. Shot! Oh, what a great save! Scores! The go-ahead goal on the power play! And special teams are critical, and this is exactly why you have the opportunity to change the momentum in the game, and you do it with an executed power play. You always need players that will fight to get to the middle of the ice and pay the price to be in the interior, and as a result, this goal comes off of hard work. The Wild have jumped in front by one here in the second. And let's just see if now they take a breath, James, and the game opens up a little bit. Often when you get the lead, all of a sudden you start to be a little bit more creative. Trust yourself because you're playing a little more confident. Shot! Oh, blocker save! What a stop! There's another stop! Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. In the second period, they have been the more active team offensively. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Slides it back to the blue line. And he takes a shot. Oh, how did he keep it out?
attack. You don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. Still lots of time left in the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Minnesota's won it. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Greenland's got it in the offensive zone. Hart's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Hardeen's able to score from in close because he tracks those rebounds so well, guys. His crease crasher zone ability gets him on the score sheet even if the goals aren't always pretty. Minnesota's won the draw, they'll go to work. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. It's the goaltender's job to find the puck. He finds it and makes the save. Ope Kubel's got it through center. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Spurgeon. Right in front. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. And that's blocked away. Here they come on the attack. Grabs control of it at the point. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. Great read. He scores! It looked like he had made the save, but that's in the back of the net for a goal. Oh, that's a really tough break for the tender, James. I mean, listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck, and it winds up in the back of your net. Minnesota's gone up by one here in the second period. Well, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. Philadelphia's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. On the attack along the boards. Tees it up from the back end. Hart's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Minnesota's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Oh! Arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. I expect that they'll go with the exact same formation that they were successful on earlier, James. An umbrella power play set. We have three up high and really are using the top of the offensive zone. You want to draw the coverage out. And then you can look for crossings and perhaps dive down and really attack the net. Ristolainen is known to help box out attackers when they try to set out in front of his net. His bouncer zone ability can help limit those chances from in tight and keep that area clear. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Spurgeon's aware he'll have a good chance to score if he hangs around the net, guys. He punishes goalies that give up rebounds with his crease crasher zone ability. It's those gritty goals that make him so effective. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Couturier's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Koivu's won the draw and they're on the attack. Makes the save! And it's kicked away. Here's a short pass to Clutterbuck. A centering feed! And he denies that great opportunity there. The Flyers have possession shorthanded. And the puck clears the zone. Philadelphia's back to even strength as they've killed off the penalty. You get the nod to go out there on the power play and make a difference, and you don't. It's frustrating, and it's a real momentum killer. Rocks him on the play. 
They've really got him on their heels here now. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will give his team a much needed rest. Minnesota's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Hayes quick on the draw. Puck picked up by Voracek. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there! Wow, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he got nailed. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. For this period, 3-2 is where we sit in what has been a tightly contested affair. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. Koivu's taking it from his own end, and he makes the save. The Wild have the puck against the boards. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Change line. Good stand up hit on the play. The Flyers take it across the line. Here's a chance in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. In the final moments of this period, Minnesota's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Couturier's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. With the steal. Nice zone entry from the middle. Puck scooped up by Farabee. Tried to get 2-2 with it and loses possession. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Moves it over to Burns. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. Taken along the wall by Myers. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve pucks. And man, can they deliver bone crushing hits. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Hayes. Parisi got it across the line. The Flyers take possession in the defensive end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Hayes looks around. Quick feed down low. James, but look at that hit and it just took me off guard. There's the buzzer. Two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is the magic number. And we've got period number three next. are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. And the puck is dropped and we are underway here in the third. And now it's over to Granlin. An easy pass save made by Hart. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Minnesota's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Battle along the wall. Suter spotted in the defensive end. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Good save, somehow got a piece of it. Hart's got over that save. I mean, he's dialed in and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. his 
one-timers, and it pays off for him, guys. He's known for that one T zone ability, which is his signature one-time shot. All he needs is the perfect pass to let it go. And they win the draw here in their own end. Comes up with a stop. Hart's gonna hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Minnesota's benefited from lots of shots on net here tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. Picked up along the wall by Suter. And that goes off a player. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Great defensive effort with the stick. Taken by Hag. Moves the puck along the half wall. Handles the pass. The Wild have the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Koibu. A center chance! Couldn't complete the pass! Oh, what a violent collision there! He just got railroaded. Close to me so fast and just takes him down. Turned aside with the glove by Hart. Still plenty of time left in this frame. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Offense is on face off, but he wins the draw. And they're going to be short-handed once again, much to the chagrin of these fans. What is that? Is that three in a row now? Yeah, that's three in a row. You got it. And the fans certainly don't like it, but it's not up to them, is it? But now they're back to the PK. So difficult to get any kind of flow in a game when you're marching to the penalty box. Crosser's got that zone ability that helps him generate scoring, guys. With more ice available on the power play, let's see if he can get a good look here. Granlin's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Blocked in front. And they managed to clear it. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Good heads up play to bat it down. Oh, he gets all that one with the pad. Here's a centering pass. Can't connect the play. And he slides it quickly to Granlin. Fires it. Big save by the goaltender. Looking to clear the defensive zone. They get it done. Ben Green's almost back on the ice. Philadelphia's penalty killers get their man out of the box. A great kill and the ability to keep this game within reach. You know now that they've got the momentum moving forward. You never know what's going to come next. Minnesota's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Granlin's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Oh, shot, gets in front of it. Hart's been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high-danger shots, and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, give him a real opportunity to win. Minnesota's ahead in this game because of the production of that second line, and this is a nice luxury to have when you've got depth on your bench. You can look down it and really create some internal competition for the ice time. Moves it to Clutterbuck. Oh, man, did he get a club on? What a stop by Hart. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. They win the draw and go on the attack. Quick shot. Too much traffic in the lane. Battle ensues for that loose puck from on the boards. From the slot, wrist shot. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Reaches out and uses the stick. Line change. Koibu's got it against the boards. Makes a save. 
Minnesota's got the puck. Great hit on the play. Gambles on the hook kick, and it pays off. From the point, looks to make something happen. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Puck grabbed by Couturier. Moves it quickly over to Konechny. Puck picked up by Couturier. Oh, and he denies him with a fantastic stop there. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Quick feed to Myers. Takes a shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Through center along the wing. Slick feed. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Philadelphia's grabbed a hold of the puck. With possession along the wall. Oh, to Nysom with the paddle save. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Carl's got the answer as to who had the better night. Dubnik's managed to give up less goals in this one, guys, and has even given his team a chance to bring it home. He's got my vote in this matchup. Great forecheck by Niederreiter. Quick pass to Gabarik. Here's a shot. Glove save. Here in the back half of this period, just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. Here's a shot. Great defensive stick work on the play. Takes a shot. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Here's a breakaway. Turn on the feet. Turned aside. Oh, that was huge. Well, it's a timely save, James. There's no question about it. I mean, the shooter, he knows how important this opportunity is, and he's not able to execute. He wanted to be a difference maker. Minnesota's been on a roll offensively tonight. Lots of chances, and they lead it late in this third. Hayes wins the draw. They'll look to set up here offensively. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Slides it across to Burns. Break away. He scores! Oh, wow, what a play! Well, he uses his speed to break away from his opponent and then reads exactly what the goaltender is giving him to be able to convert. What a beautiful play. I just love this play, and it's an excellent read to get the exit, James, but it's a long-range breakout pass and getting in behind the coverage. That's the key here, getting in behind, cutting the ice in half, and then sail into the offensive zone and finish it off. Getting into the later stages of this period, Minnesota's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Loses his balance on the play. Here's a short pass to Heatley. The Flyers gain possession in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Ristolainen. Granlin stick handling in his own zone. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it to Van Riemsdyk. To the front. Scores! And a quick strike here puts them right well, the game opens up here now, James, as they're within one, and if they can continue this press, they can get the equalizer. you got to believe that they can do it right now as you feel the momentum shift. Well, this is a hard-working goal as well, James. you got to fight for that inner area of the ice, you know, and when you're in that low-slot area, it ain't easy to get to that spot. And then when that puck is on your stick, you know that you're going to come into some heavy traffic. Great job to find the back of the net. Philadelphia's got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Bench is up and stick taps all the way around, getting within one goal in the third period. You know how important this face-off is to get possession and start attacking in the O-zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Hayes. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Philadelphia's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Moves it quickly over to Vanek. 
Enters the offensive zone from the left. That's a solid check on the play. Thunderous collision on the play. And look at the bench set up. The Flyers scores into the empty net. This was right in my wheelhouse, James. These were the type of moments that I played in. And everyone can take a breath now that the insurance marker has hit the 4 by 6 that's a strong effort all the way around. Stingy defensively at the end of the game, and they're able to get that empty netter, and it's the dying minutes here, James. It should seal the deal. Minnesota's tenacity on full display after that empty netter. Yeah, and they earned the empty net, right, James? They got themselves a lead. They were urgent all game, and they just capitalized at the right time. Granlin's won the draw. And he takes the dish. Jabs the puck away. Grabbed in the open ice by Granlin. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. He leaves got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. And there's the final horn, bringing this one officially to an end. Look, a series is not won or lost with the opening game, but Cheryl, I'd much rather have that win. Yeah, everyone would, wouldn't they? I mean, it's such a long season. You play it, but then when you get to the playoffs, you know, there's a different set of nerves. There's energy. You know, you're in a series that's do or die, and you got to figure out a way to get on top. To get that first game under your belt just settles everyone in, and you've got the leg up now on your opponent. Real nice start. Well, I certainly had a great time, and from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks so much for spending your time with us here this evening, and we will see you at the next playoff game.